So at ICML, um, we have in the debate one important question, which would be, uh, are bispecific antibodies leading us to potential cure and relapse refractory large B-cell lymphoma? Could they potentially be a better option than CAR T-cell therapy? Um, and this, I think, is a very interesting topic. I mean, I think uh, you know, it's, we have to be thankful to have more than one option for relapse refractory diffuse large B-cell lymphoma. That's one of the key points. So it's better to have two options than one. In any case, uh, regarding these two treatment strategies. I think that CAR T cell therapy um, has more mature data in terms of follow-up, in terms of included patients, in terms of randomized trials, real-world data, uh, which supports its use before by specific antibodies. So now we know that approximately 40% of patients who receive Axicel in the third-line setting could be potentially cured now that we have the five-year follow-up of the Zuma 1 trial. And we've seen uh, very recently at ASCO that in the Zuma 7, trial, randomizing refractory or early relapse diffuse large B-cell lymphoma patients to Axicel or standard of care with immunochemotherapy and autologous stem cell transplant, there was a survival advantage for those patients who received Axicel over those who received standard of care, even taking into account that more than 50% of patients in the standard of care arm eventually received CAR T-cell therapy when they progressed to their chemotherapy brands. So even taking that into account, that is to say a crossover-like uh, situation, because crossover is not formally allowed in the trial, but they received the other treatment off trial, there was still a survival advantage for those who received access help earlier in the second line setting. So we have to confirm with this randomized trial, with the Zuma 1 data, with a long mature follow-up, with a high number of patients tried it, tr uh, treated in the real world setting, outside of the clinical trial setting. CAR T cell therapy has curative potential. By specific antibodies ha are not there yet. They have not proven this. Uh, longest follow-up is approximately one to two years, and many trials have indefinite treatment. Um, the glofitamab trial uh, did have a limit of approximately 12 cycles eight months, but uh, the epcaritamab and other bispecific antibody trials had prolonged treatment. So I think we still have to see if patients go off bispecific antibody treatment. Is the complete remission maintained over time? We don't have the answer to that yet, so I think we still have to prioritize CAR T cell therapy or bispecific antibodies. And we will definitely have to uh, go back to this question, review this question in a few years when we have more data with patients with bispecific antibodies outside the clinical trial setting and with longer follow-up of the treatment discontinuation.